I'm here in the Spada Coda Trunca with Charles Teffer, the director of Spada North America. We're gonna go out for a test drive and I'm gonna learn how to drive this supercar, then take it for a ride myself. That's not the eject button, is it? Only if you're bad. It's, a, it's quite an enjoyable experience. Charles, what's the origin of the name Spada? Uh, the origin of the name Spada, actually Spada translates in Italian uh, to be sword. So their name is sword. Okay, and how about Coda Tronca? Coda Tronca is cam tail, or a flat back on a car. They make the watches also. They make the watches. Yes, or they, did, they worked with the designers of the watch. So there's a theme that runs through the interior of the car, if you notice. So you see the watch. This is the uh, electrical adjustment for the front and rear uh, anti-roll bars. Well, uh, the philosophy of spot a concept, and if you look at uh, what their uh, what their philosophy is, it's that uh, true values are invincible. Um, the history of this car and uh, runs back to the late 40s when a Dr. Cam found that uh, in fact a flat back on a car would produce superior aerodynamic results. This is something that Aircol uh, Spada found uh, to be something he wanted to follow in his philosophy of design. And therefore, starting in the uh, early 60s with the Aston Martin Zagato DB4 GT, which is a car that he designed, and the Alfa Romeo TZ1, uh, as well as the BMW E34, uh, there, are, uh, there is that thread that runs through all of those designs. This car is the culmination of all of those uh, past designs and uh, is a statement of both the joy that they have for uh, design and automobiles. John, how does it feel to be the first one in the trunk of the Coda Trunk? Well, you know what, it's a true honor to be back here actually in, in, in really what is a bold statement in the automotive world and uh, I think what we're doing now is a bold statement as well. How many how many supercars have you been in the trunk of? You know what? This is probably the actually the second time I've been in the trunk of a supercar. The first time was actually uh, in a Enzo, actually looking for a toolkit. Oh. So uh, this is the this is the second time. Do you see any toolkits back there? No, you know what? None none here, and it's it's actually uh, a lot more plush and and a lot more spacious than the Enzo. I hear this comes with some luggage. Yes, it does. You know what? The, the beauty of what the uh, Spada family has done is it's not only a form of transportation or a supercar, but it's it's a statement in the lifestyle world, and it's a statement in the luxury world. And not only is the watches integrated into the car, but also a, a package of luggage. Um, and that's, it, it's, you know, it's, it's, this car is not for everyone. It's, 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 it's for the, the person that really is, is a, a connoisseur of luxury goods. So I think I need one. I gotta take it for a ride. I don't think we should let him drive. <laughs>